Hello, today I'm going to show you how to design channels with Shape3DX using uh, 3D layers. So let's start with a new board and add a new 3D layer. So we'll call it Channels <coughs> and create a 3D layer of the type Twin Layer. Add it on the bottom and go. So I can select one point and then click on Ctrl plus A to select the whole 3D layer and then I can move it wherever I want. Let's put it at the tail. I can press Ctrl to select several points and then go to the context menu, Control point, align selected point horizontally to make them straight make it a little bit longer wider let's do the same here okay then here i have the center slice of the 3d layer and here i can design my channel Let's look at the 3D. We have a channel which has the same shape all along the channel. And uh, now what we need is um, make it merge with the rest of the bottom at the front and the rear. So for that, we right click, slice, add new slice on selected 3D layer. Okay, you see this is a new slice. I can select all the points using the control K, then right click, control point, stick selected points to original shape. Here it is, and let's look at the 3D. Now we have <coughs> a 3D layer that merged with the original shape at the front, and we can do the same at the rear. Slice, a new slice and 3D layer. Select all control point and stick to original shape. And here we are. We have a channel that is um, flat at the rear and the front. And if you want to add more of this channel, you can still open the properties of the channel here and press duplicate you can rename it channels x okay so the channel has been exactly duplicated so now we need to move the copy and if i click here you see i can select the original one or the new one i select the new one then control a keys to select the whole 3d layer and move it all at once like this and if I look at the 3D I have four channels now. Now what if I want a channel that go all the way to the tail of the board and without becoming flat at the tail. So for that I can delete the tail slice of the uh, this 3D layer and make it go all the way to the tail. Okay, and if you look at the 3D, you see you have your channel, but you have a kink here. And that is because if you look at the way the 3D layers works, we have designed uh, the shape of the channel here, and this shape is added to the bottom of the board, and the last point here of the channel uh, has to stick to the original shape and if you go to the point where the channels cross the outline of the board then the point will follow the rail and move up and create a kink to avoid this problem you can open the properties of the channel and check the option map on extended bottom so this means that the 
last point of the 3D layer won't be stuck on the rail here, but will be stuck on the flat part of the bottom extended past the rail point. So of course this needs the rail point to be defined. So on the slices you see usually you have the widest point defined as the apex and the tuck defined as the rail point. For that you select this point and press rail here and same for the apex. So when the rail point is correctly defined and you have this almost flat section of the bottom, then the map on extended bottom of the 3D layer will work very well. And if you look at the 3D, you see that now you have a perfect channel. And we can do the same with the center channel here. Delete the tail slides and press the map on extended bottom option. There we go. We have something perfect here. So of course you don't have to have the channel straight. You can make it with a slight angle. You can still use control for multi-selection and then align selected point. And here we go, you have your channels, perfect. And then you can play around, of course you can change the shape of the channels. Uh, you can add control points here, give them an angle to make <coughs> channels like this, for example. Make them sharper or whatever you want. Okay, that's it for today. I wish uh, that was helpful and see you soon on the Chef3D channel.